hi aries welcome back welcome back to the channel this is going to be your next 24 let me make sure that i'm doing your next 24 yeah this is going to be your next 24 okay all right so if you're new here welcome and if you are returning to the channel welcome back you know you're a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. All right. I'm going to get into a quick pray. And I'm not organized, y'all. Please forgive me. I do apologize. All right. Let's get into a quick pray, y'all. Tap into your energy and pull in your next 48 hours. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send the most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray, amen. All right, my darlings, listen. If you don't hear a squeaking, that is my dog future. And he always, always does things like that when I am doing y'all reads, okay? He's staying with his toys, y'all. All right, so this is a general reading, not a personal reading. So it may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does resonate with your situation at this present moment and leave the rest. You can pick up your person's energy positive on a future person, even for the cross watches who are watching. Same thing applies. And if you do need to have a personal reading, y'all, you can always connect with me using the information that you will find in the description part of this video for a personal reading. All right. Only. Only, y'all. All right. Just text me if you need to connect. The number is down below. All right, angels, what's the message? What's the message for the next 48? What is the message? What's the energy? What's the message? What's the energy? Next 48. Love. Oh. Next 48. Next 48. High Priestess of Spirit. Oh, look at that. I'm getting the High Priestess of Spirit, y'all. Your love card came through, okay? For sure. Your love card came through, and this lover's card, love card came through with the High Priestess of Spirit. I do feel for some of you, okay? You're either trying to figure out where this love is going right now. You either feel like, you're either trying to figure out if this is a lover or a friend, or if this person is just a mystery. Because you're, you, you're really trying to make a decision if you need to move forward here with this love. There's definitely love here. You're definitely loving this person. But I feel like, you know, you're kind of figuring out if this person was just by coincidence. Or if this person is a person of great interest. Is this person worth me putting in the effort, extra effort in? Even though I feel like, you know, you are feeling already like you are connected with this person. But there's a question that you're asking yourself with this connection. What is this that I'm seeing? What's the message? Oh, belonging. All right, clarify that. Clarify next 48. Look at that. Look at that. Let's put that here. All right, so I'm also getting this, y'all. I feel like I don't know why I'm seeing a dark house or something. Okay, somebody's acting weird. I feel, I'm getting a weird feeling here. Someone is having some kind of a weird feeling here. Someone is trying to be understanding about what their intuition is telling them. Someone is either feeling like there's something weird or something suspicious is going on here. Even though you're really feeling kind of connected to what you are dealing with right now, with your person, okay? But someone is feeling like, why is this place feeling so dark when there's light on the inside? This is what I see, y'all. Someone is hoping that their intuition is not right because you don't want to lose what you're trying to build here. 
because I'm hearing a mystery. I'm hearing a mystery. The high priestess of spirit. This is how I feel when I, whenever I get this card. It gives me mystery here. Somebody's kind of trying to figure something out here. All right, what's the next 24? What's the next 24? Please clarify this next 24. What is this that I'm seeing, angels? What is it that I need to share? What is it that I need to share at this time with Aries, please? What's the message for Aries at this time? What's the message? That love came right back through. Oh, there's something going on here. There's something going on with this connection, okay? Because I'm getting forgiveness. So this person might have done something. This could have been something that you guys don't even know that had been done. If you do, then this person is asking for help. I'm getting help is on the way with this, what, this situation. Expect the unexpected. Didn't I tell you guys that that's what I felt? Anytime I get this card, which is um, the High Priest of Spirit, it gives me mystery. Someone is a mystery. Expect the unexpected. Because someone is maybe yearning for freedom here. Or wanting freedom. Someone is not ready to be, um, to be tied down all the way down. This is why this house really doesn't feel like a home. There's something going on with this connection. What is this? Clarify this next 48, please. Please clarify this next 48. For Aries, please. Please clarify, angels. Next 48, please. Please clarify. They're just flying out, y'all. They're just flying out. All right, so we have the Page of Swords, the Nine of Wands. That came through. The Fool, the Everfond in the reverse. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Six of Swords. And we do have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. At the back of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. Uh -huh. Ha ha, ha. y'all. I'm hearing that someone is really dissatisfied here. Okay. Even though there's love here, even though there's love here, okay, someone is still feeling dissatisfied, okay, and disappointed with, with whatever is going on with your connection with your person. Someone is walking away, someone is making a choice to walk away from this love, even there, even though there's so much. Um, strong attachment with this love. Someone is making a decision to walk away. Someone wants to move on and leave a situation behind. Without a doubt. Someone, this is, someone is just ready to find a place of solitude with this uh, Eight of Cups here, right? I do feel like someone is trying to seek insight of a situation here that might have happened with your connection, with your person and yourself. But Let's talk about these cards, y'all. We have this page of this page of swords, right? Um, someone made a very silly decision, a, made a silly idea. All right, is what I'm hearing. Um, and I do feel like you know this person that you're connected to, they're easily influenced, y'all. Um, this page of swords is a person who's really more like a childlike kind of an energy. Sixty, act like sixteen. Um, and I do feel like you know. They just decided to make some kind of a move that was not solid. I feel like you're about to just like, you know, I, this is not for me. It's not going to work out. 
It's not working out because this nine of wands is always is also here. Someone is battling a decision a decision here. Um, I do feel like someone is either getting very wary from this, but someone is just not willing to give up whatever is causing a situation to kind of drift or having someone making a decision and walking away. Um, someone is not ready to give up that situation here, right? I do feel also with this nine of wands, I do feel like someone is either ready to just wash away pain and move on into something else, something new. Hmm. Even though there's so much hurt here, even though a person is just being bruised up and beat up and burnt and, and just still standing there feeling stuck, someone is feeling rather stuck here, rather stuck. All right. And I do also feel like for some of you, a fresh start is really needed and it is going to happen because this eight of cups did represent someone making a decision moving forward. But a fresh start is needed because someone tends to make rash decisions here without really thinking through their movement. Just go ahead and just doing it. And only because this person is more spontaneous and more carefree. They're not, uh, they don't think things through or evaluate things the way that you do. And because of this, it really brings a damper into your connection with your person, which is love, which is you honoring this love and them doing the same and respecting each other and know that there's boundaries, okay? Um, I do feel um, a sense of a beginner. I feel a sense of someone is boundaryless, okay? Um, just on a different type of a, a level here. Is what I'm seeing for some of you. Now, we do have the high priest. The, I'm sorry, the Hierophant here. Um, there's rules that were broken, okay? This person is just too rigid here. There's just a lot of rules that was broken here. I do feel like this person might have been brainwashed by somebody. Who the hell knows? Maybe whatever the hell kind of have them brainwashed for a moment or for a second at this cause problem between two people. And this is where the 10 of cups did show up in the reverse. Someone definitely put an end to a dream here. Um, and the family structure, there was a lot of problem problems start to come in in family problems. All right. And situation that became very dysfunctional here. Right. For some of you it was very upsetting and you felt very unhappy. Um, this person might have really started showing lack of interest in the relationship of an emotional disconnection here. Uh, some of you, even an emotional feeling of not being very supportive, didn't want to support a structure anymore, any further. And they put an end to the dream, all right? Now the Six of Swords here, I do feel like, you know, you're definitely moving on, okay? Somebody is descending. Someone is moving on. Someone made a decision here, a choice to move on. Someone is putting it and setting it into stone here okay moving forward moving forward okay moving from uh turmoil to calm moving from stress to a peaceful place this is what i see you doing here in the next 48 honey all right i do feel like you might have had really gotten some unsettling news and yes for some of you you did because again this high priestess of fire i the, the high priestess of spirit um, it did give me um, a mystery, okay? And I did feel like there was something that was going on in the home that wasn't belonging. Um, and someone decided to part ways because there was just no understanding that was coming from it. Um, and then on top of that, the, there was a sense of transitioning from one thing to the next. And that transitioning is a bad idea <laughs> for some of you. All right. Um, or as far as your person is concerned, I had a hell of bad decision. Okay. I do feel like, um, with this queen of pentacles also being here in the reverse, something needs more attention and care. Um, and it is the home structure, which needs more attention and care as far as what we're seeing here. Um, and I do also feel like that also gives me a feeling of imbalance as well. Whatever was connected with you and the home structure that started to feel very unbalanced and shaky. And bringing a lot of confusion here and putting everything into the reverse, which is financial um, stability as well. Um, I feel like somebody was just way too laid back and wasn't really putting the effort, even though there's love there. But, you know, you can't pay bills with love, just love, can't we? Okay. 
And I do feel like, you know, somebody just got really tired of being sick and tired and just made a decided decision to move forward, okay? So that is going to be your next 48, my darlings. I hope it did resonate with you guys. Please do not hesitate to like, to share, to subscribe to the channel if you have not. If you do need to have a prayer request, if you need one, you can always ask me for one down in the comment section simply by leaving your initials there. If you need one for your personal, feel free to put their initials there as well. Family members and friends do the same. The only thing that I ask of you is to pray for me as I am praying for you guys. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you'll always find. Bye, guys.